Hey y'all. So, um, a lot of y'all already know this, but I'm like down here in Pensacola and um, I live in the ghetto. Like, ghetto. And um, last night, I am on like this weird sleep schedule because my husband was um, working at night and so I wanted to like stay up while he was up and sleep while he was asleep so I didn't spend like all day bored out of my mind with like only chicks to talk to. Um, so last night I stayed up all night and um, cause now he's in class so I'm trying to get back on my schedule to where I sleep at night so I stayed up all night trying to get back on the schedule and um, I have only slept like two hours today. Um, anyways, last night, apparently, a car got broken into here, and so I'm walking up, I just went to town to get Chris's phone fixed, and, um, I'm walking up to go to the door of my apartment, and, um, the manager comes out, and she's like, hey girl, I just want you to know that, um, we did have a car break in last night, and he went to your car first. So what? Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I have a nice car. Um, it's kind of a piece because I used to didn't care about it, but um, it's a pretty nice car. So I get like the initial shock of it over or whatever, and she just tells me the story about how at, like 2:30 in the morning, um, this guy was like checking around cars and people downstairs saw him and um that he tried my car first then he tried a white car next to mine and then he actually got into a lexus that was like next to the white car took the guy's wallet and then the people that were watching him like why wouldn't you come out sooner but they came out and um scared him he dropped the wallet and so they called the police and um I guess they didn't find the wallet until today, and it was, like, in the parking lot somewhere. So, I'm like, oh, my God, don't tell my husband because I will have to move away from here. But, um, after next week, I will have a gun. Um, I will have the gun here, anyways. Um, and it's really special to me because it is my mama's daddy's gun and it hasn't been fired since he fired it so I think that's pretty cool um a nice little connection to my grandpa that I never met so um I'm pretty excited there are gnats down here if y'all don't know what a gnat is it's like a fruit fly but they suck worse like they're not from fruit they're from hell Anyways, um, so yeah, um, reasons not to live in the ghetto, you get your car working into. <laughs> um, I don't know, like, I'm not too scared about it, there's nothing really in my car that's valuable, I'm pretty smart about it, um, we had a car stolen out of our driveway once, so ever since then I, like, drop my, not drop, but lock my, um, doors and like hide my GPS which my GPS is like seven years old so no loss there um and everything else is in the house we don't keep you know checks in the car anymore or anything like pretty much all there is, is the insurance card but um yeah that's pretty scary so now I have to wait until my husband and that's gonna be super fun so wish me luck bye